Max, thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to come and, and talk about uh, something that's passionate with me is recognizing our military. Uh, being a graduate from uh, Clemson in 1994, it's a, it's a privilege for me to come back and uh, carry on Clemson's military tradition by uh, training the next generation of cadets uh, through the Army ROTC program. As you mentioned, Clemson's got a long military history um, dating back to when it was founded and, uh, of course, being an all-military male military school until the 1950s. Since then, the ROTC programs have uh, worked with a variety of organizations on campus to keep that military tradition alive. And through the athletics de department today, we, we now keep this uh, going through our Military Appreciation Day uh, football game, which is happening tomorrow. And of course, there's uh, a lot of many, uh, many other traditions that are uh, at, at Clemson that, are, that tie on both with the athletics and with just general campus. I know you're going to hear from uh, somebody from the Clemson Corps and some of the things they've done. But all around campus, there's uh, different areas that show our, our military history, from the Military Heritage Park to the uh, Scroll of Honor Memorial Park, to the Cadet Park over in the Botanical Garden, and uh, many other areas on Clemson that, that show our rich military history. And we're proud to be able to showcase this tomorrow in concert with the Athletic Department and Military well, just uh, talk about the Clemson ROTC and the uh, what, what you do with it and the, uh, I guess, the Fighting Tiger Battalion and uh, the long-lasting history between Clemson and the, uh, you know, dating back to uh, World War II and Vietnam. And uh, just talk about that a little bit. Well, the Fighting Tiger Battalion is um, a cadet-run battalion, has currently about 150 ROTC cadets from all four years of college, our senior Seniors in the program actually run all the training and uh, conduct it just like you would a normal Army unit and uh, lead and guide and coach and teach and mentor the uh, underclassmen. And uh, through that, the cadre helped develop the seniors so that they can develop them into officers. And, uh, this dates back, you know, as Clemson was a military college, of course, you had such a large Corps of Cadets that, uh, you know, at one time the, the Corps of Cadets could stretch from one end of Bowman Field to the other. Today, with only being 155, and even with the Air Force ROTC, only at about 140, we're really not a large part of the university, but our, our mission still remains the same, to, to help train these cadets to be future officers in our, in our armed forces. That's right. And um, to talk about, um, you know, this. a lot of schools are doing Military Appreciation Day now, but Clemson does, I mean, one of the best jobs with it. I think, and uh, what it means to uh, to you guys, and also thank you for your service to the country, and what, what it means to y'all, and uh, with the flyover and the, the veterans honored in the end zone, and also a little bit with the uh, ROTC and the some of the traditions that they have with the football team, push-ups in the end zone, and uh, guarding the rock before the Carolina game, so. Yeah, well, we got a, a lot happening tomorrow to start off at about 8 o'clock on Bowman Field. There'll be equipment displayed by our, our partners in the, in the armed forces, our National Guard partners that will bring in a, a military equipment for the community to see. There'll also be some vintage military vehicles by some local veterans and others that have restored those vehicles, and we'll have those. And then it, um, there, uh, Colonel Young will come and talk about Clemson Corps and what they're doing at the Scroll of Honor in the morning. But around 11 o'clock, we'll join the band as they do their march down through uh, Central Campus. Both uh, ROTCs, Air Force and Army battalions, will, will march along with any veterans, student veterans, uh, Clemson Corps, down through campus as the band leads them uh, down into the stadium. And some of the other things we'll do tomorrow that are significant for us, our, our cadets, of course, will be lining the hill. The football team runs into it. Our cadet battalion commander will be dotting the I as the band uh, spells out Tigers in the, in the pregame show. And then during the uh, halftime show, the There'll be some, some great events. Of course, all veterans will be invited down and uh, into the west end zone to be recognized. And in the east end zone during that time, the um, Ranger Club will be doing a, a fallen soldier uh, ceremony, as well as we'll end with the uh, Persian Rifles conducting a 21-gun salute and then taps being played. So it's going to be a great halftime show, as, as you mentioned. Uh, Clemson's been doing this in their football games for quite a while. It, it is one of the, the better shows, I think, in college football. 
and it's, it's really meant, though, in all that we do and all that I think the athletic department is putting on and does, is really recognize the veterans for their service uh, to our nation. You know, from my standpoint, being gone from Clemson for 18 years, serving out in the Army in a variety of capacities, it, it was a great honor to come back and see uh, how much Clemson really cares about their veterans, not only because they are a military university, but even caring for the current veterans that, that are here on campus serving as students and the veterans that are in our community. And as you mentioned, the, the uh, push-up crew is one way we, we try to show that at each game by the uh, cadets doing the push-ups and then holding the board so the Tiger can uh, do the push-ups, keeping that uh, military tr tradition alive in each, each game. And, of course, by having the Citadel here tomorrow, this makes it even more important if they're a military college still and um, they're going to have a, a unit come up that's going to do some drill and ceremony type events uh, along with the band during the halftime. So it looks to be a, a great day tomorrow as we uh, celebrate our military. That's right. It's going to be a uh, awesome day of events with a uh, noon kickoff tomorrow versus the Citadel. Once again, we're talking to Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Molinax. Uh, so, obviously, you said you graduated from Clemson, but what does uh, Clemson mean to you? And um, just talk about your service. Did you serve in, uh, I guess, what the, be the Gulf War, Afghanistan, Iraq? Did you have any tours over there? And uh, what, well, we, thanks again for joining us this afternoon and tell us about the uh, ROTC and, uh, you know, we look forward to all the events tomorrow and thanks again for your service to the country and you're welcome back anytime. Well, thank you. For, well, for me, uh, you know, Clemson is, is definitely a place that, that, that made me who I am. It's where I uh, grew up, became, of course, an officer as I graduated and uh, Clemson set me on success with, with a, a great uh, career that I've had. I'm a logistics officer. I've been around the world in Korea, Germany, and a variety of other places, and uh, deployed to Iraq two separate times, had a great opportunity to advise an Iraqi general in, in the rebuilding of the, uh, that country, learning uh, their uh, culture, the Arab culture, which was a great experience. And, and, and that's given me all the skills now to be able to teach the uh, cadets, coach and teach and mentor them. Uh, take on the next generation so they can go out there and do some of the great great things that I've been able to experience and do uh, for our armed forces. Um, without the, the foundation that Clemson's given me and really the uh, instructors that came and were here at Clemson at the time, uh, I wouldn't be here today being able to live on this legacy. That's right. And um, thanks again so much for joining us. And we look forward to maybe seeing you tomorrow and all the activities that are going on. But uh, once again, that's Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Mullinax from uh, the Clemson ROTC, the Fighting Tiger Battalion. And uh, we really appreciate him coming in today and talking about our uh, veterans and honoring our military tomorrow. A very special game tomorrow for the Tigers and the Citadel Bulldogs. So thanks again, Colonel. All right. Thank you. Go Tigers. All right. Go Tigers.